Hi Scorpio, welcome to your past life reading for couples. Now this is the uh, life after the retrograde specials. Let's take a look. What are these things that you still have to learn? Your karmic lessons. Are you really with your soulmate? Is it a twin flame? A karmic soulmate? What are the things that you owe from the past? Your karmic debts? And the things that you still need to learn for you to move on further. Let's take a look. I just came back from my um, short trip and I was supposed to record the rest of the signs while I was um, traveling but then I forgot the uh, adapter of my laptop so uh, yeah I have to go back earlier it's more of a meditation healing camp and uh, you know it's kind of refreshing and uh, energizing as well after um, taking so much of a uh, bad energies from the uh, from other people and from uh, the candles or the divination that I'm doing for my clients, so I need to remove all the uh, energies that I have taken away from them. Now, now to continue. Ooh. Wow, Scorpio. Looks like you have a thing about uh, older people, eh? Now, you were one of the advanced civilizations before. And you're very, uh, you know, like very tight when it comes to your finances. And you also have some trust issues. But the things that are happening and, um, you know, going on in your life right now. I feel like it has something to do more with your past life, okay? And it's all written. Now, you hate being accused of something that you didn't do or that you did not really commit it because in the past, you were, um, it's like you were um, punished because of uh, loving somebody that is younger than you or this, that is different from your religion or different from your um let's say ethnicity or religion or something like that but you are a person that's very gifted and you know the right from wrong and you know your rights you're also a very old soul you're a well-traveled person however in your first two lives you died while traveling in a sea um you love traveling and you're also once a voyager but you have suffered so much from an unrequited love and you lack love from your father or you also have some issues with your father or you grew up without your father in your second lifetime you're a very religious person and born in the eastern europe still you've been living under a lot of fear and you've been like uh, incarcerated okay and when you traveled or when you moved to another town or another place right after um you know serving your prison terms you move to a new town and that is where you have met your spouse which is this was during the during the war and you were a doctor or you were one of the uh, let's say vo medical volunteers okay now let's take a look what actually happened to you in the past and I feel like both of your twin flames and both of your soulmates, you've already met them, okay? Well, the first one that you have met when you were um, Atlantean, uh, this person have deceived you and sold you out, okay? And it seems like you don't actually know where is your problem coming from. But it's like the politics and the uh, the gossips that's been surrounding you, it's never ending. And you don't know who is the one who's been starting it. So this person that you're with seems like uh, they are telling your private lives to somebody that they hate, that they trusted. Or that they trust to. And that person that they are trusting reveals everything that they are getting from the person that you're with to other, could be other board members or other members or something like that. And that is highly forbidden. 
So what happened was there was like a leaked information and uh, they did not really like your relationship or someone got jealous with your, you know, with your situation. And so they have created a problem for you and this is the reason why that you have lost your job as well. And uh, being one of the higher ups and uh, you're not supposed to have a relationship with someone who's more of your subordinate or more of your junior. And right after that, you were cast away of your town or of your um, of your city, and you have traveled far. Okay, you've um, you've sailed on your own, and it seems like you have um, you know you have um, loved the other person so much, and even though what they have done to you is really unfair and uh, not really in that part, um, you've forgiven him. But you're also looking for something like, if only I have a father, or if only I have my parents with me, or if only that I am complete just like anybody else, then maybe somebody will be making a stand for me and I won't be kicked out of my own uh, town or city or something like that. And so when you, um, when you, uh, you know, traveled your voyage to another, another place, this younger person have came and looked for you as well he had followed you but unfortunately he did not really made it and after a few years you only learned about this when there is also a group of people who tried looking for him and they found you okay it seems like they have some you know could be like devices or things or ways to to find you or to track you down and that is the only time that you found out or you um um you knew that the uh, the younger person have searched and uh, go after you but unfortunately during the storm they did not really made it back because they're you know they're not this person this younger person is not really a um let's say knowledgeable in that area okay uh, especially navigating the seas and uh, because they are you know they are very young and they're still fresh and they're still learning and that even though they have a very promising talent they still need more experiences to do things and because of what happened to you that they feel so guilty that you were kicked out of your city and um, you know this person have tried to clean their conscience and uh, he was disowned by his own family or parents and that group was actually the the relatives of his father so when they found out that you were alive and that their uh, son did not really made it through the storm and they even got mad at you and the city that you're in um they've sparked a war or a violence and they have um ruined a lot of houses and it's all because of you and because of that when the people found out that it's because of you why these people are going in an outrage are going in the you know like um, turning every house into an ash they've decided to kick you out and throw you out of the city again for the second time so it's a very unfortunate uh, lifetime well uh, life stage for you okay that you keep on getting rejected because of the things that you did not really do that is out of your control and out of your will but because of the circumstances that's been surrounding you and you know that's been following you that is the reason why you keep on getting punished so you have tried to stay away from everyone you've tried to stay away from anybody as much as possible because you feel like every time that i you know that uh, that someone knows me or every time that i um what do you call this befriend or uh, get close to somebody it always calls for trouble and that's why right now you feel so alienated or whenever you're in a relationship trouble always follows you or right before you got into a relationship your your career was in a was on a verge of success or you're very your finances are very much stable and everything but then right after being with somebody or right after being with you know especially younger than you it always calls for trouble okay and you're also having a hard time letting go of the fact that you feel like sometimes you're born with a jinx but it's not um you have an unfinished business an unfinished um you know um 
story with this younger person who feels so guilty of um, causing you a lot of disaster and even cost you to lost your uh, you know your career and you're you're actually an inventor you're very good in math numbers um you're very good in calculations um you create things that i feel like in the modern day they're already using it and you work in the laboratory okay um more likely around fuels or something like that or power physics it has something to do with that and uh floating and flying things so possibly it's uh, related to you know to aerospace and something like that or uh, aeronautics and you also have some issues with your fathers though if you are you know if you're the kind of person that is more attracted to older people it means that you know you're still looking for your father image but if younger people keeps on what I call this like a, it's like you're a magnet for younger people or it's like you're um, you know younger people always stays with you woos you chases after you and as much as you want older people to chase you this younger people are the one who stays and you know like uh, try to get a grip on you or try to you know swallow their pride just to stay and just for you to love them it is because that you shouldn't have run away without this person okay and you should have gone back and uh, talked to them that it's not their fault it's okay you can make it through instead of just running away and burdening them with their guilt and that's why they have lost and they have drowned right in the middle of the sea where nobody knows where they are they just vanished okay so right in the middle of their journey when you left them they don't know what to do and they got lost and uh, you know it's like um, you've tried to concentrate on your own but unfortunately we all have our own missions and we all have our own baggages to carry and these young people you know that's been in your life or that will be in your life you're meant to carry them not to be a burden but for you to lead them okay now in your second lifetime being in the Eastern Europe where you're always afraid and you've been incarcerated okay and uh, right after serving your prison terms you you curse that place and you said to yourself that you will never ever set foot in that city or town again and that is where you have met your spouse you know that is a war hero or like a like a war general and you're one of the medical volunteers now you have tried to heal this person and you have tried to you know cure and help them get well during the time that they were very wounded and they live in another city or another place and they you know when they get well because you've been taking care of them so much they have taken you to their to their place or to their city and I feel like you did have some trust issues that you want to free yourself up from this person but this is you know you know to yourself that this is really the right one but you were too different I mean you came from you have a very dark past you have a lot of insecurities and you came from a very poor family and the only thing that you know is to help out other people to cure and to make them well you know mix you mix um some medicines or some simple cures or to just heal people with your healing touch that's all you have but this person came from a very good family and every time that you're with him you feel very small and you feel very insecure okay and not to mention that this person didn't tell you that they've had a um, family before okay but unfortunately they were already separated and uh, they have some kids together and this person is v much older than you all right you've met when you were 16 and then you got married when you were all with 22 but even though that's the case and even though you know that part already came with the family with the relatives with their friends every time that there's a party inside their place you feel like just a wallflower you feel like just a display because you don't know how to mix with their conversations you don't know how to communicate with them you don't know how to introduce yourself because you feel like you're just a slave 
and you know in front of all these people they are very big and they are you know they're well educated and this is the reason why that you try to run away from this person because you feel like you're not you don't really belong together okay you're so afraid but then the problem here is when you have tried to free yourself up okay this person did not really understand what is your main reason and you have tried to cut this person off you know despite of you having a child but then the problem here is you got stuck okay with that marriage or you get stuck with that relationship and they have tried to follow you you know they've tried to track and uh, follow your trails but it seems like you know that they are following you so you you hid from them you know you hid very well and uh, you have sent them a you have sent him a letter after a few months uh, asking for forgiveness and this person get sick again you know after a few years or after two years and because of this they've passed away with a broken heart because of you and you have lived your life you know with so much regrets and you've tried to work on your own you've tried to live alone but then there are a lot of people who's been trying to keep on pushing you away because they feel like you don't really belong there you're you're from a different country you're from a different city and every time that you talk to them because your language are different it was really hard for you to survive so you keep on moving and moving and moving and you have regretted so much that you shouldn't have left okay and you have tried to keep an open mind and instead of running away you should have kept yourself educated and learned more from him because he is much older than you he is you know um much more willing to teach you all the things that he knows and to you know to share you whatever luxury that they have but you got scared and now that it's already too late because the person who loved you so much and valued you the most and took you away from your current living before where you don't even have any roof above your head and you run away because of your own small insecurities and then when the person passed away that's the only time that you realize that you shouldn't have run away so you have a lot of regrets and you have a lot of you know you have a lot of um um angst in your life because you're too insecure you're also very jealous you feel so threatened easily Sometimes you just wanted to run away or to, to be alone because you feel like nobody's really meant for you. But you know what? It's not true. It's like you keep on sabotaging your life and you keep on, you know, you keep on like pushing people away just because of something that is missing or something that you're lacking, which is, you know, those people came into your life to fill up that gap or to fill up that empty space. But you have pushed them away. Now, what is your main lesson here? Uh, you know, you need to overcome your insecurities that instead of moving away or running away whenever things get tough or whenever you feel like that there are someone who is much better or your, uh, you know, your partner is like this, your partner have more like this. Try to learn more and try to be a little bit more open-minded and overcome your insecurities your issues you know the things that's been like you, that you feel like you you lack inside your life you have to fill it up on your own so that you won't feel so insecure and don't keep on running away whenever things get tough and whenever you feel like other people has been trying to push you away there's always someone who wants you to stay and in every 100 reason find one reason to stay Okay, and every 100 reasons for you to go, find one reason to stay. Okay, even if it's all against odds, what's more important is that never ever leave the one that you really love and who really love and values you. Because when time passes by and when life is already over, then you will just live your life with so much regrets again and resentments and you cannot turn back time. So learn how to value people and stop self-sabotaging. Okay? And you always have your issues about your father because you feel like there's something that's missing inside of you. All right. 
So anyway, that's it for you for this uh, retrograde uh, Scorpio. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone, I love it. Also, if you want to have this kind of reading, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.